Hello, in this video we are going to add a raster attribute table to a raster. We'll start with doing that for the buildG layer. In rasters we normally have only cell values, but there's a new functionality in QGIS through the raster attribute table plugin to also add a so-called raster attribute table, which works very similar to the attribute tables that you know from vector layers. So here I install the raster attribute table. We start with styling the layer, and because our buildG layer is a discrete raster, we use the palleted unique values renderer, which gives every unique value in the raster a color, a random color in this case. Normally we would edit the label, but in this case we are going to create a new attribute table, and we choose the GDAL auxiliary XML format. You can click on open raster attribute table from the message at the top, or by clicking right on the layer. And uh, here you see the colors that we have used, and there are also columns with the red, green, blue, and uh, alpha channel, which gives the opacity of the color. There's a column with value, which has the pixel values, count, which has the number of pixels of that class, and there's a class column. And we can toggle on the editing, and then we can edit these uh, fields in the attribute table. I can simply add a new column, and I can define its use. So we're going to add class names, and it's in the string format, and I'll call it land use. And I want it after the class field, so I choose after, and then I choose class, and then this new column will be placed after the class column. Now I can simply add the names of the land use classes. Here I can also change the colors. If I go to the rat color column and I click on a color, I can change the color using the widgets that we know from QGIS. After changing the colors, we can uh, save the edits by just toggling it off by pushing this button and click yes. And then we can choose another class, another column to uh, use for the classification. And in this case, we will use our new uh, land use. And when we click classify and click yes, it will adjust the colors and uh, the names of the classes based on uh, this uh, raster attribute table. Now let's repeat this for the roads map. Let's uh, move it to the top to make it visible. So I go to the palleted unique values because it is a discrete raster. I have here the three random colors. Then I choose new attribute table. I choose the GDAL auxiliary XML format. I open the attribute table. I toggle on the editing. And I add a new column. I also change that to class name, type string and I call it row types. And I want it after the class column. Now it's added there. And I write down the row type and I can change the colors. Change the classification, you can do that after or before saving the attribute table, that doesn't really matter. So now I save it. And here is the result. So in this video you've learned how to use the raster attribute tables to uh, add columns with class names and to adjust the colors.